That was not one of my best ideas. If I could explain to you guys how wet my pants are right now, you would be just as disappointed as I am. All right, welcome back everybody. Now that we're kind of like dried off and stuff and not covered in water, today we're gonna to be talking about my top five favorite pre-spawn bass fishing baits or just kind of the spring bass fishing baits in general. These five baits are gonna help you guys catch more fish. Hopefully this will spark some knowledge in your head and get you out there. You'll try out some of these baits and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully catch you a slouch donkey, baby. Woo! -hoo! All right, we're gonna jump right into this. I, I don't know, so I don't really like making videos where everybody's just like talking for a half an hour before. It's like you guys came here for one thing and that's to learn and uh, that's what we're gonna do here today. Alrighty, so I got five baits here and I'm not gonna go in any particular order. These are just five baits that I will always have on rods or I'll always have them in the boat with me when I'm going fishing this time of year. So uh, I'm just gonna kick right into it and start with numero uno. One of my favorite baits to fish this time of year, I actually have just used in my most recent video and we caught a ton of fish on this guy right here. This is the jerk bait. If you guys are not familiar with this bait right here, we'll get a good look at it and get one in your tackle box. The jerk bait is a really awesome bait fish imitation that allows you to fish colder water temperatures and just keep a bait in that strike zone for just a little bit longer. So this time of year, you know, we're coming out of winter, moving into spring, things are starting to warm up, and we're pre-spawn. So these fish are trying to do one thing, and that is get ready to start spawning. They're gonna be moving up shallow, they're gonna be looking for where they're gonna be bedding, but the number one thing that they're gonna be doing prior to spawning is just stocking their bellies up with food. They're hungry, they haven't been eating that much in the winter, and they need to get a full belly because, especially the females, Pretty soon they're not going to be eating anything. So in this, one of the biggest food sources is bait fish. This is a great bait fish imitation and what's great about this is because we just came out of winter like I said and we're moving into warmer temperatures, that water temperature still isn't quite there yet. So a lot of times you'll get fish that don't want to go you know, way out of their way to get food or maybe they're not going to put as much effort into getting food just because that water temperature is still cold and that fish is still lethargic. Fish tend to crush these baits because like I said, after you pop, pop, pause, it sits there and suspends in the water column which leaves that bait in that fish's strike zone just a little bit longer for it to think and T-bone this sucker. So I've caught a lot of fish on this bait right here this time of year. Definitely one of my favorite go-tos. Moving on into number two, I like to keep a Ned Rig in my boat or with me at all times. A lot of times when that water temperature is still pretty cold and those fish are still lethargic, this is a great finesse bait to get around trees and logs and things like that to just be finesse and uh, get a bass to just cream on something. Moving into number three, this is gonna be a little bit harder for me to do because I actually have them on rods right now because I've been fishing lately, but Number three, this is one of my main go-tos. I pretty much always start the fall off with this guy right here. My most recent video, I hammered multiple big bass off this guy right here, and that is the chatterbait. Some people call these vibrating jigs. And uh, essentially what this is, is it's kind of like a swim jig mixed with like a spinnerbait is like the only way I can describe it. It's just really loud, it's thumpy, it vibrates, and this bait right here is a great way to cover a lot of water, but it's also a great way to trigger a great bite when these fish are in cold water. I don't know what it is about this bait, but it darn near wakes the bass up and gets them munching. I love this bait because you can get it really tight in cover. It stays pretty weedless for the most part, and uh, you can just bounce it off sticks, you can bounce it off logs, you can bounce it just about anywhere you want. You can pull it through grass. There's so many different ways that you can fish this bait. You can tip it with a paddle tail like I did right here. And uh, this has to be one of the most productive baits that I've ever used in the spring. So if you've never fished one of these before, they're super easy to get hip to. There's not too much that you need to learn about fishing these. You can pretty much cast them and reel them in. You can get more advanced with them, but if you're, like I said, if you're new to know, not knowing what these are or whatever, cast this out there, retrieve it in, and I guarantee you, you guys will still get a bite. So pick up a chatterbait, put it in your tackle box. You won't be pissed. All right, number four, we got another one of my go-tos that is super productive, super easy to fish, and something that just puts the hurting down on bass this time of year. That is the spinner bait. A spinner bait is a great way to mimic bait fish. Like I said, guys, this time of year, you got a lot of migrating bait fish, and those bass are gonna be munching on something like this. 
You can throw this through grass, you can bounce it off cover. You're gonna find the majority of your fish this time of year shallow and on cover. So throwing one of these guys in there tends to pick off a lot of fish. We were out here yesterday, me and Mike were fishing and Mike was uh, using this spinner bait right here and he probably caught like nine bass. This is a great way for you to cover a lot of water, find where those fish are at and uh, get on a fun bite in the springtime. So pick up yourself a spinner bait. Guys, these are so simple to fish. You can do so many different things with them. I love spinner baits and uh, it's by far one of my favorite springtime baits. Last but not least, we have number five. You know, it kind of seems like there's never a bad time to fish this bait right here. It really just depends on your situation. But the fifth bait that I always have on the boat or in the tackle box is a bass jig. Bass jigs are really great to have. Why they're so good in the spring, you get a lot of lethargic fish, you get fish that like to hug tight to cover. Being able to flip a jig in there and uh, get around those logs, get in and out of those rocks can be super beneficial this time of year. You guys can catch a ton of fish on these guys right here. It also helps when you're dealing with like murkier water conditions, when you know you get cold fronts through and things like that. Sometimes those fish just, they don't wanna move around, they wanna stay lazy. You need to get something in front of their face and this is a great way to do it. Sometimes this is the one bait that works the best when you're dealing with springtime temperatures and uh, it's always good to have one. Doesn't work all the time. Like the other day I went out there, you know, I could not get a fish on the jig because they were hitting spinner baits and stuff like that. But uh, there's been times where jigs have been the number one thing to have on the boat that day. So there you guys have it, short and simple. There's five baits that you guys should go get, throw them on setups and uh, just get familiar with using them. They're great baits to use in different situations, but this time these are five baits that I will for sure have in my tackle box when I'm going fishing because they are going to catch me a ton of fish this time of year. It actually is a huge variety, and if you guys know how different all five of these baits are, you'll understand why it's so crucial to have them because at the end of the day, you never know what the bite's gonna be like and you need a little bit of everything to filter your way out. If you guys saw my last video, I threw literally like everything from paddle tail swim baits to chatter baits to spinner baits to bass jigs to the jerk bait and I was catching fish on all of the above. It's great to have just a variety of baits on the boat with you that are made for the specific time of year so that you can get on a good bass bite. You can filter through everything and figure out where the fish are at. Hope this helped you guys out a lot. Leave a comment down below if you guys have a bait that you use that I missed, that I don't use. Maybe it'll help somebody else out, you know, change things up a little bit. All right, now you guys know the deal. If you're new here, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button, drop a like on this video if you liked it, go over to Instagram and drop a follow. I'm always posting fun stuff over there on Instagram that you don't get to see here on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everybody's doing great. God bless you. I'll catch you in the next one.